Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this beautiful fabric covered Christmas ball. So let's get started. Things you're going to need is a hot glue gun with a hot glue stick, of course, a Christmas ornament, some Mod Podge, some fabric. These are cut in about one inch by four inch strips, a brush, something to cut your fabric, some ribbon, and a cup to hold your ball as you allow it to dry. So first of all, make sure your ball snaps together. Sometimes they don't, so I make sure that they snap together first. Once you get that going, go ahead and open it back up and add some hot glue into the rim of your ball. You're going to push it together and hold it for a few seconds to make sure it gets a good hold with the glue. And if you have any glue left over on the outside seeping out, just peel it off because you don't want a lumpy ball. Then start at the seam and add a thin layer of Mod Podge with your brush. Make sure it's not lumpy and it's nice and even. And then you are going to pick up your strip and apply your first strip. I like to make it go right down the seam the first time to help make sure we hold the ball together since it isn't a two-piece ball. You could use a whole one and not have to worry about this process. Then we're going to add another strip, so we're going to add another layer of glue. Keeping it thin and not gloppy. So just lay on your next strip and you're going to want to make sure that you're crossing fabric every time you lay a new strip. And again, keeping it thin and smooth. We're going to add one more layer here just to give you guys an idea. So again, like I said, we're going to cross the fabrics. And obviously I crossed in the wrong direction. So I missed the glue most, mostly all together. So I'm just going to add some glue up underneath where I missed and then lay the fabric back down to tack it down in place. And then I'll fix the other end. Get it down in place. And then you're going to put some glue on the top of the strips that you've laid down to help secure them a little bit more. Finish your whole ball. Don't leave any open spaces on one side. And then once you've finished the whole one side of your ball, you're going to place it in your cup and allow it to dry completely. So you want it to be completely dry so that you can touch it and it's not going to be sticky. And so then when you finish, you're going to have one whole completed side like this one. You can turn it over and start on the other side, the same as you did the last side. And then what we're going to do is look here at this example and you'll see the ball is completely covered and then you're going to want to take some Mod Podge and add about three to four layers to help make it nice and shiny. Then I have tied a piece of ribbon across the top but you want to leave enough space so that you can get a hook in there and we're just going to tie a bow to it quickly and then I will cut off the excess ribbon down here at the bottom and then I will heat seal the ends so that the ends of my ribbon won't fray. If you don't do this, you could get a little fray in and it could just get kind of messy. So make sure you do this step. So yeah, that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, then make sure you subscribe and enjoy making your Christmas ornaments. And I will talk to you guys a little bit later.